This is Unpaid Critics. So, welcome to our first official segment of Unpaid Critics. My name is Larry Bravo, and this is Cesar Conde. And um, today we're going to be taking a look at the new Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens teaser trailer. Now, Cesar, this came out uh, the day after Thanksgiving. And I don't know about you, dude, but this shit fucking blew up. I went on Reddit, and, like, the first four or five links on the page were multiple, uh, you know, YouTube videos all for the trailer. And each of them had, like, over 2,000 comments. So, obviously, the internet is, like, going apeshit about it. We had to do this. Um, I was excited yeah. for it. Um, let's break it down. What did you think of the trailer, dude? Dude, if anything, the trailer should have been... Um, released before Thanksgiving, so we can thank for it on Thanksgiving, <laughs> right before dinner. That's, that's, that's how I feel. Um, thank you, Lord, bro, for J.J. Um, Abrams and Star Wars. <laughs> thank you. Dude, I mean, I was obviously very hyped for this trailer. I, I, the, the Jurassic World trailer just came out uh, maybe a week ago or so. I, I mean, it's obvious that everybody is more excited for this trailer. And with reason, bro. And, and I think it's the, the special thing about this trailer also is the fact that we don't know jack shit about it. I mean, yeah. think about it. We, we, this, this Star Wars film, you know how J.J. Abrams is with his films that you don't know anything about him. But this is kind of different than, than Super 8 or, or films like that because you already know um, the franchise, Star Wars, but yet you don't know anything about this movie. All we know is the cast, who's directing it. And that the force somehow awakened, and that that's it. Yeah. And that, and, and and I think that's special because that's something that that we're not even gonna have in the in the future Star Wars films because this movie is gonna set up the future the future film, so we're gonna know something about them, right? Yeah, for sure. And that being said, I think the trailer is genius, bro. I mean, it it's the real definition of a teaser. You showed us the cast members in costume or whatever. You showed us the Millennium Falcon. You showed us a Sith Lord, which we don't know who it is. I'm thinking it's Adam Driver, and that lightsaber. And other than that, man. we don't know that fucking lightsaber. We, oh, it's crazy. You know, other than that, we don't know shit about it. I mean, it's the teaser in, in every form. It, you don't know any. You still don't know anything. All you know is is how they're gonna look. Um, dude, I, I I think I think it's my first impression of the trailer is that it was genius. I just think it was amazing. I'm, I was blown away by it. What, what, do you, what do you think about it? Well, I really like how the trailer opens up. Um, you know, we sort of jump right into it, like almost like we're actually watching the film itself, like we're fading up and beginning. And also, whether it was intentional or not, I actually really like the subtle nod there to Spaceballs, which, if you don't know, is, is like the Mel Brooks, uh, you know, comedy rip off of Star Wars where there's a scene where like this black stormtrooper they're they're searching for the rebels in the desert and he's like oh comb the desert and he's like with this giant afro pick literally combing sand and then the black guy's like we ain't found shit so like seeing the black <laughs> stormtrooper in the beginning or I don't know if he's a stormtrooper I think he's like the protagonist in this movie no um, John Boyega, I don't know if he's the protagonist, bro. I have no clue. But still, seeing it, that I mean, first but, scene, but that's it was the point, almost, though. That's the point. We don't know shit. It was almost framed exactly as that shot in Spaceballs. Yeah. So I thought that was super funny. But anyways, that's just a side note. Like, um, I really liked how big of a tease it was. Like you said, I think this was truly a teaser trailer. It was a very, very brief glimpse but I think that they put all of the essentials in, everything that we needed to see to really get our, our appetite wet for it. And, um, you know, dude, when the music kicks up at the end and you see the Millennium Falcon, I, I, dude, I had a fucking instant erection. Like, my six-year-old self bursted into my room with my Han Solo blaster. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, dude. I was so jacked. But, you know, I will say this. For all of the positive vibes and praise, because now you know how that is. The hype train is starting to roll. Um, you know, I am a little worried. I know that, that JJ is a great director, 
but you know, I don't want this to be like J.J. Abrams doing Star Wars, even though inevitably he's going to put his own twist on it, which is which is good. But, you know, it's like we were talking the other night with you in Jurassic Park. This is such an iconic franchise for me and for a lot of people. And, you know, I'm, I'm every bit as optimistic as the next guy. But I think that, look, at this point, anything's better than the prequels. <laughs> I think everybody can agree with that. But there's a lot to lose here if it fails. Um, but Ooh. I have my fingers crossed. I think it looks awesome. And I'm hoping for the best. You know what? I completely disagree with you in, in all facets of what you just yeah. said. I mean, first of all, um, the prequels weren't that bad, all right? They didn't love. They did. They weren't as good as the original trilogy, but they weren't that bad. Especially Revenge of the Sith, I thought it was great. I think Revenge that was of the, the Sith only redeeming actually, film, though, man. It's actually better than. Yeah, I mean, it, they're they're not great, but they're not that bad as people put them. It's just I understand. Second of all, it's different from Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is a film that is kind of like self-contained in a way, right? It's this park. There's only so much you could do with that park and make it interesting. Star Wars is a whole universe. And we've already seen, like, like the branches of that universe, not only with the, with the sequels, but with, like, um, Clone Wars and, and other products, even comics that are Yeah, but they changed all of that good. now. I don't know if you heard, but they specifically... I know, I know they did, but, but, but my point is that this is not, like... Touching an untouchable. This shit has been getting touched. You get me? It's not like, oh, you shouldn't touch it. Other than that, the with the J.J. Abrams thing, I think, I completely disagree with you. I think that if he makes it, the more he makes it himself, instead of trying to make it as if he was George Lucas back in the day, the better the film will be. I, Dude, I love everything about this trailer. I love that they don't give a shit in the trailer, but images. They, we don't know shit. We don't know who... Who the characters are playing? I mean, we we would guess that 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 Boyega is the. I hope I'm not slaughtering his name. John Boyega, I think that's his name. Um, we don't know if he's good or if he's bad. Is he a stormtrooper? Is he a good guy dressed as a stormtrooper like they did? Is that a nod to the original films? We don't know. Um, who's the girl? I mean, dude, everything about this trailer is amazing. And let me let me say this though, even if it's J.J. Abrams' um, vision through and through. You can still see how Star Warsy it looks, if you will. Dude, like the desert, um, the fucking, how they use practical effects. You can see that, bro. You can see that. They brought back the X-Wing. I mean, bro, I don't know. I think this is this trailer was just I, perfect, I just, I, I think about, I'm not trying to be a hater. I, and this is just a teaser. We have, to, we have to remember that. You know, this is not indicative of the whole film. But, I mean... You remember, like, you know, a couple years back when they were discussing the possibility of revisiting Star Wars and nobody really knew what was going to happen, and people were throwing names around for directing. And J.J. Abrams came up, and he was like, no, I'm not going to do it. You know, I wouldn't dare touch it. Everyone was almost afraid because they realized, you know, how iconic of a film franchise. I mean, for Christ's sakes, Star Wars, the, the effect that it had, not just on films, but on pop culture... I mean, you're talking about something incredible. Like, this is just revolutionary. Every, there are people in different parts of the world. Almost, There's probably more people that know who Darth Vader is than Jesus. I mean, that might sound ridiculous, but think about it for a second. So, you know, the fact that this guy was so afraid to take that on at first, and then him now coming back and saying, okay, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm not saying he can't have a change of heart. Maybe he's entitled to that. And I'm not saying he's going to do a bad job. Maybe it's going to be fantastic. But all I'm trying to say is that, you know, a lot of people really care about Star Wars. Dude, listen, there's going to be, no matter how good the film is, there are going to be people who are still going to say it's not worthy of the original trilogy. Right? They, no matter what, bro, this film could be perfect. I think the film is going to be amazing. And I think I think J.J. Abrams, dude, just by seeing the imagery, just by seeing how it looks, the aesthetics of how it looks, I think that um, that he's on the right path. Dude, like, I, I just cannot, I just cannot, my words cannot describe how the, the good vibe I got from that trailer. So the hypometer, let's amazing. close this out. The hypometer, what would you say 
Uh, what do you Dude, feel right now? Definitely meter for Star Wars, hyped, yeah? It's it, it, the movie's far away, so my hypo meter wasn't that huge. But after watching this, dude, and, and that's that's the point of a teaser. After this, I just want more, bro. I just wish this movie was gonna be released next month. Yeah, dude, this my hypo meter just went through the clouds right now. How about you? I completely agree with that. I think that as a trailer, it was incredible. It was effective, very effective. It, like you said, it builds a lot of that mystery. It keeps people intrigued about what's gonna happen. And I, again, it just it hit all the points, and it really wet the appetite. All of these doubts that I was expressing, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to judge the, the work before it comes out. I'm still going to see this day one. I'm going to line up, you know, and I do have high hopes for it. Those were just some concerns. But, yeah, my evaluation of the trailer, my hypometer for the film, I'm super hyped for it, dude. I'm really excited. All right. So, uh, um, well, for, that's it. That's it for our review of the... Star Wars The Force Awakens teaser trailer. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the conversation. And if you have any comments about what we talked about, you agree or disagree, feel free to comment. And also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Very cool.